You mentioned Christian Yelich, so he's brought on board, and this is what they had to give up to get him. Lewis Brinson, a big-time prospect, one of the top prospects, uh, certainly fires right up the Marlins prospect board, and we'll talk about the return that the Marlins are getting in just a few minutes. But first, from a Brewers perspective, looking at Christian Yelich now being added to the mix. Uh, again, a young player and all the rumors about wanting to get out of Miami and not be part of a rebuild the old change of scenery thing for a guy who <laughs> was already pretty good in the old scenery. Right, and, and, and not a hitter-friendly ballpark as far as homers are concerned either. And, and the one thing when you think about Christian Yelich, I think he's a solid big league player, and he's got a lot of future ahead of him to actually be, I think, a superstar. I'm just going to go back to the WBC with the red, white, and blue on him and the USA across the chest. And he started getting some knocks. Not all of his knocks in the WBC were the prettiest of things. I got rid of those because I didn't want them in my tape. Nice. But I think the man can swing the bat a little bit. This is in a situation with man on first, two outs against the Dominican. Uh, drives a double to left center field gap. Scores Ian Kinzer to tie the ball game right there. But what I liked about the WBC and what he showed me, this dude right here knows a little bit about baseball. Here's his lineup in the final game. Ian Kinsler leading off. I get it. Adam Jones possibly the uh, the player for the uh, United States hitting in the two spot and playing second or center field. But when you look at that third hitter in the lineup, this is Team USA with a bunch of all-stars on this team. That wasn't Buster Posey standing out there. That wasn't Paul Goldschmidt standing out there. It was Christian Yelich standing out there hitting in the three spot for crusty old Jim Leland, who I think the world of. Here's a little double right here. He hit them where they ain't. That's usually the best way to approach it. But that swing right there uh, pads the lead for the United States in the final game. But it just spoke volumes to me that you got Jim Leland sitting on there, Team USA, wanting to win, correct? And I'm still old school, Carlos, about that three spot in the lineup means something to me, and I guarantee it meant something to Jim Leland. And with all those choices he had for Team USA, he chose to put this dude in the three spot. Yeah, right. I mean, you would think of, well, we always thought of the third spot being the best hitter on the team hits third, period. And Jim Leland thought that this was his best sit, uh, hitter. You know, when you look at it, you, you mentioned something very important. I'm really curious, or I'm excited about seeing him hit over there in Milwaukee, man, because obviously Miami is not a hitter's friendly ballpark. Now, you go to Milwaukee, that ball is flying out of there. So I'm seeing him just blossom him, blossom him in this new uniform in that stadium. Uh, you look at the guys who have the highest on-base percentage among outfielders since the start of 2015, so the last uh, 15, 16, 17, three years, and Yelich is on that list with, with the likes of Mike Trout, Bryce Harper, Andrew McCutcheon, Charlie Blackman, guys that either have multiple or have one or have at least been in the conversation for MVPs.